I am many things. First and foremost, a mother and a wife and a businesswoman. I design fine jewelry under the line KDIA. It's all like handcrafted and ethically sourced in downtown LA. I love to incorporate fun, quirky, whimsical designs. So it's a nice juxtaposition to have like really quirky things, but like really well done. I think it would be actually much more advantageous to work in the office because you go and you sit down and this is your workspace and then that's all you do. I'm working at home. I love it because I don't like to be away from my kids that much, but then I also like can't dedicate my full time to my work. So the morning I usually just have my coffee, which kind of gets me stimulated, and I love to spend time outside. I like to sketch and kind of go over notes, and I'm just always trying to design to make it like the coolest, the most well-made, and just the best quality. A woman's work is never done. Whether I'm checking emails or I'm like planning for events coming up or special projects, it's just it's a constant struggle of trying to balance it all. Being your own boss is great because you can make your own schedule. I can travel when I need to and then you also don't really have to answer to anyone. With fine jewelry, for me it's better to build a personal relationship with the customer. Like I don't even sell on my website. I have like an email where you can come and email me for private orders and that way we can build a rapport and a relationship. I think it's really important with fine jewelry especially to have a personal buying experience and that's kind of what I'm trying to do. I want to have my own store, small little boutique and I think that by building a personal rapport with private clients, that's the way to do it. So if anyone else wants to start their own business, I would just say, just go for it. At this day and age, you could do anything you want to do. You could do anything you want to do. We all have so many struggles. Like I've been turned away by so many stores or press or whatever. And you kind of only see like the victories, but just know that behind every victory, there's 10 like failures or setbacks. If you just focus on yourself and try not to compare yourself with others, then you can go really far. Hi, I'm Kristen Noel Crawley. I'm here with Complex Hustle, powered by Ciroc. Let's get it.